Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the New Zealand versus U.S. stars. We head toward the end of the week and into the new trading week. What uh, levels are in play? Where do we stand? What's the bias levels? And uh, also a key thing next week, Reserve Bank of New Zealand interest rate decision is going to take place on Wednesday morning in New Zealand, Tuesday evening in the uh, U.S., I think around 9 o'clock. Uh, and uh, the expectations are now for a 50 basis point cut. So uh, that uh, uh, has a negative bias uh, going into that meeting. We'll see how it all pans out. Uh, so let's uh, get started. The uh, expectations for a 50 basis point cut start to uh, seep into the market. And we saw the, uh, the uh, New Zealand versus U.S. dollar get weaker as a result of it, uh, you know, perhaps uh, China being off this week uh, kept, took away the uh, bid to the upside as well as uh, the stock market in China was uh, helping to support uh, uh, currency pairs like the New Zealand and the Aussie versus US dollar. So pretty much a uh, trend week to the downside here in this uh, currency pair. In the process, we fell below some uh, key uh, levels, uh, including this uh, swing area up through here. Well, we had a number of different uh, swing highs uh, forming this uh, ceiling. Yes, we moved above it here, but then reestablished this area as a ceiling. Uh, things uh, got consolidated here before moving to the upside. We came back down, moved a little bit below that level. Should have sent the price lower. Couldn't do it. Uh, restarted the upside. Uh, tried to hold support against that level in trading this week uh, and did get a bounce off of that level. But uh, when we started to rotate uh, below the level right there, we saw, uh, we saw increased momentum. Got below the 100 bar moving average, 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart. First time since going back to August through here. Uh, and uh, what I like is that uh, we held it below that level through here and in trading here today we saw an increased momentum to the downside after the U.S. jobs report. Having said that, the uh, price also moved below this 38.2% retracement and swing area between 0 0.6157 uh, up to 0 0.6180. 38.2 is at 0 0.61757 in between those levels. And this area right there is going to be our, uh, our uh, key uh, short-term and our close risk level going into the new trading week. If the sellers are going to uh, take more control, they need to stay below this uh, swing area, stay below uh, the 38.2% the, uh, retracement. And if they can do that, then the uh, bias remains uh, more to the downside and the sellers remain in control. On the downside, uh, we have this uh, key 100 day moving average coming in play at 0 0.6121. Also, the 50% retracement of the same of this move to the upside from the uh, August low to the September high. Where's that October high? I guess it's October high. Well, it's one or the other. Uh, but uh, uh, both those levels are, are uh, key, as is this low price right here. So we might even be, uh, uh, look to uh, put a red uh, yellow box around this area right through here as another uh, key target area to get to and through. My might as well include the 200-day moving average as well. Uh, that's all in this uh, area, 100, 200-day moving average, 50% retracement. That's quite a combination to get to and through on the downside. So be aware of that area, folks. Uh, it's going to be a key for uh, the bias, uh, not only uh, go, uh, next week, but going forward for this pair as uh, moving below those longer term daily moving averages does shift the bias uh, to the downside. Uh, so uh, close uh, resistance up here near the uh, 0 0.618 level. Stay below that that level right through here. Keeps the sellers more in control. Big, good, strong, uh, strong support. Important report support down uh, to between 0 0.6099 and 0 0.61213. Those are the levels that are going to uh, stick out uh, to me uh, for me and next week's trade in the New Zealand versus U.S. dollar. So be aware, be prepared. My name is Greg Mikulowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.